Hey everybody, it's Mr. Regner, and today I wanted to share a little tip with you on how to turn in work without actually turning in paperwork. So let's pretend like this is my assignment, maybe I had an art assignment, or whatever it might be. I can't physically turn this in through the internet if we're not face to face. So if we're using a platform like Google Classroom, you might be curious, like, how do I turn in a physical copy of it? So here are a couple of techniques. Number one, Google Classroom has a special app that you can use for a phone, whether it's Android or iPhone. It's a free app, so you can use it whenever you would like. When you turn in uh, something through the app, you can actually choose to take a picture of it. You can select a picture from your phone, or you can actually take a picture with your phone. So you can just literally snap a picture. Now I do recommend that you make sure your picture is very clear, right? If you're taking a picture as your phone is moving, that's going to not be very clear and hard to read. So always double check that, especially when you're turning in a work like a math pro uh, problem or a piece of writing and make sure that it is very, very clear so it can be read by your teacher. Now if you don't have a smartphone, you might be thinking, oh man, I am out of luck. There's nothing I can do, but you probably have your Chromebook. All right, this is a Chromebook um, similar to what you might have. And every Chromebook has an option for, let's see if we can do this, a camera. Look, there's my camera, and there's me, and there's me on the camera looking at the back of my head. So you can use your camera function. It's kind of line up your picture, kind of like you're taking a picture with your smartphone, right? But you're gonna take a picture here with your, ta with your uh, Chromebook. And then once you take that picture, you can upload the picture to your Google Classroom. So again, you're able to turn in a physical paper, paper that you might write on or solve a math problem on or do artwork on. You can turn those things in through your Chromebook, through a smartphone, through a tablet, using the Google Classroom tools that are available. So whenever you're completing an assignment, some people really prefer to handwrite things. Like in math, you might have to handwrite out a math problem. Or the example of that art uh, project that's really something you can't really do necessarily on a Chromebook. So you can do it on paper and still turn it in to your Google Classroom. So whenever you're turning something in, always keep in mind there are options for you. And if you have questions, always contact your teacher and ask.